How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV. Today we're going to be talking about the December updates on the Google Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro and what in the hell is Google doing and will we get this December update and uh, yeah Google's kind of messing up right now and they are looking pretty bad when it comes down to Samsung and even OnePlus if you could say that. Uh, so yeah, the Google Pixel 6 December update has been uh, dropped as far as being pushed out to everyone. Uh, it started up a little bit, but then they went ahead and pulled it, and I went ahead and flashed it. And uh, as you can see right here, when you go to the uh, OTA files on Google, December has been removed. Um, now I could go back to the November update, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it on the December update just because I don't feel like messing with anything. I've had little issues, but not a lot. Uh, my signal has uh, dropped um, a couple of times, but nothing too serious. Fingerprint sensor is way better than it was before. And everything else that I do on the phone is just fine. So uh, I think that it's not fair that if you go on over to the Pixel 5, they already got the December, the uh, January update ready to go for the Pixel 5 um, A and for, let's see if uh, the Pixel 5 as well, they got the January update. If you go on over to the Pixel 4, they got the January update ready to go and ready to download and install. So I think that it's a little bit weird uh, Google uh, is leaving out the Pixel 6. This is their saving grace of a phone. Their top dog, uh, most popular device is the Google Pixel 6. And uh, yeah, we have no updates. Uh, they said by the end of January, we'll receive this update and it'll be pretty much the December and January update in one. So uh, hopefully that is true and hopefully we don't have to wait that long for this update for the Google Pixel 6. I know a lot of people are disappointed that we have not gotten this update or you have gotten it and your phone has been kind of buggy or uh, you have to you know, downgrade back to November patch or factory reset your device. A lot of people don't want to do that. I'll do it if I have to, just because I do this all the time. I factory reset devices. I'm always getting new devices and setting them up and things like that. So doing a factory reset doesn't bother me that much. But uh, to the average person, you don't wanna have to do that. An average person is not gonna want to download this and sideload this via ADB. Nobody knows what that is unless you are a tech enthusiast or you know a reviewer or something or really into tech. Uh, the average person isn't going to do all of this stuff. So they have to wait Till, no, till January or to the end of January in order to get that update. Now, maybe it has something to do with the uh, Tensor chip. It's not uh, playing well with some things as far as every other device is running some form of a Snapdragon chip. And maybe uh, something in the Android 12 or the Google Pixel 6 isn't playing well with that um, Tensor chip. So they're having issues and they're trying to fix those. So that's good that Google is pulling the update and they're trying to fix these issues, but Google is known for their software experience. They are the Apple of Android. You get updates every single month in a timely manner with Google devices. And this is the first time that they're not delivering on that. And it is quite disappointing. Hopefully they get it together and they give us this update. Even Samsung, I think the best company to implement Android 12 so far has been Samsung. Uh, their One UI 4.0 is running on several devices, a lot of devices, perfectly. And it's doing well. OnePlus, and I've already talked about that in another video. It's Oxygen OS and uh, Color OS, and it is different, and a lot of people don't like that. But... Samsung killing it in the software department with the Android 12 and uh, Google came out with this Android 12 for the Google Pixel 6 
gave it to the other devices and they are having trouble keeping up with it. So that is a disappointment. So hopefully Google fixes this issue and uh, I will link a, I will leave a description for this link down below. And uh, I suggest if you do sideload your devices, check this site and check to see when they update it because uh, the December was up here and they've removed it. And uh, hopefully we see a January on here. I've been going on here every day to see if uh, it's been updated. And so far, nothing has been updated as far as giving us the January update. And of course, if you want to check, go into your settings, go into system and then system update and check to see if you have an update as well, just to make sure that you're not missing anything as far as getting that update installed and having ready, everything ready to go. So hopefully this update is a good update, a big update, and it fixes all of the issues you guys have been having with the Google Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro. So I just wanted to uh, get that off my chest and vent a little on Google and how they needed to get it together. And pretty much, hopefully we get the January update soon, guys. So sit tight, everything will be all right. And hopefully Google does not let us down. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. That's quite all right. Subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.